What's up guys, it is time to finally talk about The Lighthouse, directed by Robert Eggers. Wow, this film. Um, this film, uh, probably one of my most anticipated films of the year, ever since it debuted. Um, was it Sundance? I don't know. One of the really early festivals in the year. Reviews came out for this film really early and it was meant to be great. Uh, it won all these awards at Cannes and the trailers just made it look really weird and interesting and everyone was just talking about how this was one of the most unique and bizarre and just baffling films of the year and I couldn't wait to see it. So I finally got to see it and this film, probably one of the most insane experiences I've had all year. Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson play these two lighthouse keepers. They've been sent to work on this lighthouse on this deserted island in the middle of the sea absolutely isolated, detached from the rest of the world. It's just them and they basically slowly go insane because there's something mysterious about the light in the lighthouse and there's also this mermaid that keeps showing up and Robert Pattinson has these visions and nightmares and it's just insane. But it is also one of the most rewarding and enjoyable experiences that I've had all year. So let's talk about the things that I really liked. The performances are great. Well, performances, there are only two performances, but the two lead performances, Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson, their chemistry is fantastic. One of the best scenes is them literally arguing about how Robert Pattinson doesn't like Willem Dafoe's cooking. And it's the funniest thing. This film is hilarious sometimes. Like, it's, it's absolutely insane and has some of the weirdest imagery I've seen all year, but it's actually one of the funniest films I've also seen all year. It is a bizarre dark comedy that also happens to be about these two guys just going absolutely insane. And for the most part, it is, it's, it's riveting because you can see the relationship building between these two guys and then it just deteriorates. And one of the most fun parts about this film is seeing them both start off relatively normal and then by the end of the film they they've just lost it completely but seeing them slowly deteriorate is one of the most enjoyable parts about this film because they get in there in these really petty arguments and they have to spend so much time together and they're forced uh, to talk to each other robert pattinson really doesn't want to talk to willem dafoe in the beginning and it's really cool to see him slowly come out of his shell become more and more talkative and once they become more talkative they argue they squabble and they basically drive each other insane. But the film also has some really interesting themes about power and the relationship and the, the dynamics and power struggles that men have with each other. Because at first, Willem Dafoe is the older, more experienced person, and he's the one ordering Robert Pattinson around. And then by the end of it, the roles have somewhat changed. And there are just really interesting things going on. The film doesn't entirely work for me though. There were some moments when I thought it was a bit too weird for its own good. It did somewhat lose me just by being weird and crazy. And I have nothing against original films. This is one of the most original films I've ever seen. And it's, it's fantastic. It's black and white. It's shot in a really interesting aspect ratio. And it's just such an interesting idea about these two lighthouse keepers slowly going insane. The originality, I love. But sometimes films, when people are talking about how weird and crazy they are, sometimes they do sort of disconnect with me because there were some moments in this film where it was just shocking imagery, you know, just to make you unsettled and throw you off. It didn't really do much for the story. And that's when it sort of lost me a bit. So there were moments in this film where it was a bit too just insane and crazy for its own good. And it did lose me a bit. And the ending is so insane that is a i don't know the ending didn't quite work for me but it will work for other people so all in all the lighthouse was how do i even wrap this up the lighthouse i am i am so glad that i saw the lighthouse the performances are fantastic it is hilarious sometimes the imagery the cinematography the sound design the production design it is all so so good the direction and the editing Every technical aspect about this film is unique and original, and I loved it. The chemistry between Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe, seeing their characters slowly go insane, it's all great to see. The film has some of my favourite scenes from any film in 2019. It is weird, and it did lose me on a few occasions, but it's definitely worth checking out. It is very much a rewarding experience. I will definitely recommend it to anyone. I am going to give The Lighthouse an A-. It doesn't quite click 
uh, in the way that I hoped it would. You know, it doesn't all quite come together uh, cohesively, but I did still really enjoy it. And I want you to all have that experience. So definitely recommending The Lighthouse. Go and check it out. Um, if you've seen it, definitely let me know what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And until the next time, goodbye.